Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you what's inside of my pet binder. So let's get into it. So this is my pet binder. A pet binder is just a place that you could keep all your information based on your pet. When you first open my pet binder, there is this drawing of a guinea pig that I sketched. And then here I have important information which is based on vets. So here I have my main vet and then the hours they are opened and then an alternative vet which if it's like a Saturday or a Sunday and my I can't come in contact with my vet I could go to this one. And then so the next page is just pet information. So here I just have pictures of all my pets, so the guinea pigs and the dagoos, and it just has their name, their date of birth, their gender, their breed, their fur type, and the color. And then here I have this tab divider, and here it begins all my information on guinea pigs. So I have a vegetable chart that looks like this, another vegetable chart that looks like this, this vegetable chart, um, this vegetable chart which is based on veggies for one guinea pig, and this is a poisonous plants list. And then this is dangerous medications, so if I ever go to the vet and they need medications, I could check my list, make sure my vet isn't accidentally giving me something that guinea pigs shouldn't be given. I'll link all the um, vegetable charts and the poisonous plants list and the dangerous medication links down in the description. So here I also have another tab divider and this is just beginning all my Daegu information. So the same thing, I have all my charts on what Daegu's can eat. So this is a fresh vegetable chart, and this is also a fresh vegetable chart. Here's some more vegetables. Um, these are a dried vegetable chart, and these are a seed chart, which they could have. These are like cereal grains and starches that they could have, and also different types of nuts. So here's another seed chart and more um, seeds and different veggies that weren't in the other charts. And then here I have a wood chart because Daegu's need wood to chew on. I just want to make sure I am giving them safe wood and just down here I just have unsafe wood. And then I also have medications that should be avoided with, guinea, uh, with Daegu's. And then I also have this clear tab divider right here. And this just begins my section on weights. So I just have my Cavi weight record, which is for Zora. And this just lists all her weights since I have her. And then here is Luna's. Also the same thing. This is Clover's weight record. And then this is Willow's. And here is Pixel's weight record. So then I also have this black tab divider. And just here I just have this sheet that I got from Gorgeous Guineas when I ordered shampoo from them. Same thing and a blue tab divider now. And here I just have all my adoption forms. So here I have Zora and Luna's adoption agreement. And here is Pixel's um, agreement from the SPCA. And then here I also have all the um, records of invoices from when I took any of my pets to the vet and if you can see there is a lot there. It's really thick. And then last but not least 
I have this neuter certificate from when I neutered Pixel. And then I also have extra tab dividers or um, sheet protectors, sorry, um, if I want to put more sheets in my binder. And then I also have these three guinea pig pamphlets that I got from three different types of pet stores. So thanks for watching guys. Be sure to comment down below if you have any questions. Also give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. And don't forget to click that subscribe button if you want to be notified when I post out more videos. Bye!